Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we'll take a look at a new feature in TPC Desktop 2017. We'll take a quick peek at how this new version of Traverse PC formats line, curve, and spiral labels. I'm looking at a survey that a user has sent us, and I want you to notice that this alignment that runs north and then west has a bunch of curve labels um, that the user has come in and modified. So they've repositioned them reoriented them, trying to fit them uh, inside here. I'm going to right-click one of these and choose Traverse Tools, Reset Modified Attributes, and Traverse PC returns the labels to their original um, positions and orientations based on the Traverse Drawing Settings. Now let's go into those same Traverse Drawing Settings, and I'm going to recall a setting I saved just a moment ago called Alignment Stacked Outside. And let's go ahead and apply this. Let's hit the Apply button, and we can see that Traverse PC has positioned all the labels to the outside because that's what we told it to do in this format. It stacked them, it's made them perpendicular to the line segments, and it's given them a little extra spacing. Let's just zoom in here a little bit. We can see that here's the tangent and the bearing and uh, the distance is below it. And we can take a look at here's a curve label right above it another curve label. The curve labels have the bearing and long cord on the same line, but they could be on different lines, depending on how you want to format that. And each label then is perpendicular to its own segment. To see how that's opened up the drawing for us, and I could now come in and move these around if I wanted to or reorient them, but I might find that Traverse PC has done a great job for me just with the Traverse drawing settings without me doing anything else. Now, I also in this drawing have the record data for this same alignment. And if I were to tag this record traverse, I'm going to have this sort of jumbled mess of, of uh, labeling. And I don't want that. So I'm going to take one of these labels that it just created for me, and let's do what we just did a moment ago. We're going to go into the traverse settings, but this time I'm going to recall a format that I recorded earlier called record with brackets. And we're going to see that Traverse BC is going to change the color of that to red. And if I were to just take a quick sneak at the formatting for the tangent labels, I'm going to see that I've got these brackets on either side. And I'm using this caret here to say, I want this to be inside the alignment. Inside of this counterclockwise alignment, it's going to be to the left and south. So let's choose OK, and let's apply this. To see now how uh, Traverse PC has redrawn all that alignment information uh, inside this alignment. It stacked the uh, curve labels, stacked the line labels. Look what it's done with the brackets. So I've got brackets around each item in the curve label, around each item in the um, tangent label. Here's an alignment label that's aligned with the curve, and I've got a bracket before and after here. I even put brackets around the point labels for these points that are in this record traverse. So I can identify that they're record data as well. So in my legend, I could just say bracket, bracket, um, uh, record data per some survey or per some plat. And uh, Traverse BC has done all of this through the traverse formatting. Now, in another video, we'll come in and we'll show you how we've used this formatting for a long time with the curves and the point labels. Um, and we certainly can continue to format these, uh, but we've given you a lot more options as far as splitting data, um, stacking data, aligning data, and you're going to find that you can do a lot more with this um, without actually going and editing the text itself. New feature in TPC Desktop 2017.